let's jump into tequila while we're kind of getting ready and cleaning up, shall we? It's tequila time. So tequila extract. Um, we just made one with a silver tequila. We used the uh, reposado and another, right? So there's three kinds of tequila that you want to use to make extract. There's three kinds of tequilas that are made. There's, there's more than that, but I like to just always kind of go in threes. So we're going to talk about three different kind of tequilas that you can use for extract making. The first kind of tequila that we used in the Gingrich, correct? This was in uh, Paul's first one. Yeah. Is a silver tequila. So let's talk about silver tequila. Silver tequila is usually the least expensive tequila. It is poured into the bottle within two months after being distilled. Sometimes immediately, sometimes it has to just go into like another storage container until they can bottle it. But the maximum amount, amount of time that a silver tequila can be stored is just two months. I bet you didn't know that. Well, I did because you told me. Okay. <laughs> I kind of geek out here on my uh, spirit research, but it's always a lot of fun as we kind of learn these things. But I think it, it, it plays into your final extract, and so it's important to know these things. So silver tequila is usually the starting point. Uh, Jose Cuervo is a great place to begin, great tequila, so it's distilled, goes immediately into the bottle. What does that mean? If you have uh, an alcohol that is just distilled and then immediately into the bottle, it means it's going to be strong. Right? It's been filtered, it hasn't settled, it's going to be strong, and so you're going to get a really strong, kind of a bitter, if it's your first time having tequila, agave taste that comes out of a silver tequila. Um, that's why when you see people drinking it, you know, you have to offset the taste of the tequila with the lime and with the salt, because it's really, really strong, and it'll be strong in your extracts. Now, the tequila that we tried was a silver, or excuse me, the extract tequila that we tried was a silver tequila, and it was wonderful. I didn't get it really any of the bitterness uh, in I any did. way at all. I was actually surprised. I thought we would have with the silver. Yep. So uh, if you're watching the budget, uh, silver tequila is a great place to begin with. And as we just saw a few minutes ago, uh, you can get a great tasting extract using a silver tequila, mm -hmm. right? Yep. So that's silver tequila, brand new. Now, if we go just a little bit more expensive, the next tier up of tequila is reposado. Reposado means rested. And it has rested, and let me get this right, for a minimum of two months and a maximum of 11 months. Now, this is actually regulated by the Mexican government the same way that the American government regulates bourbon to American whiskey. The Mexican government wants to make sure that tequila, as it leaves its country, has its stamp of approval on what it is and what it's being called. So the Mexican government uh, uh, monitors this and regulates this. So a reposado is an extract that was once a silver, and then it was poured into a storage container for a minimum of two months, not less than two months. If it's less than two months, it's a silver, but a minimum of two months and a maximum of 11 months. So you could be like 11 months and 29 days or 30 days, I guess, on a long one, and it'll still be a reposado. So what does it mean with a reposado? As you saw with this tequila uh, extract that we made, I'm going to hold it right next to the silver so you can see the color. You can see it's just a little bit tinted. And the reason it is, is it was stored in an oak barrel for somewhere between two and 11 plus months, but no more than a year. It can't be more than a year. And when it's stored in that barrel for one year, it takes on the taste of the barrel. Now, tequila manufacturers, distillers, when they put the tequila in the barrel to hold it, they're doing what um, scotch manufacturers do, their distillers do, they're doing what um, whiskey distillers do, and that is that they're buying casks, wooden casks that are on the market that have been previously used for other spirits, like wines or sherries or rums or quite often bourbon. So they're buying a cask that was just being used for one of those spirits for a long period of time, and now they're storing their tequila in it for up to 11 months. And so it's going to take on a little bit of the taste of whatever was being stored in that cask before they put the tequila in. The result, it's more of a complex flavor. You start getting the notes of like the oak or the brandy or the sherry or whatever it was that was being stored in there starts coming through. And so you get a little sweeter, creamier tequila. Okay? Finally, and Don Julio is a great tequila to use. Now, I have this tequila here that I wanted to show you because don't let the color fool you. This is Maestro Dobel is the name of this tequila. It's actually a reposado, so it's been sitting for 11 months, but it was filtered once again before they bottled it. So it looks, it looks like, like a silver. silver. If you looked at this, you'd say it's a silver. So make sure you're reading the labels of all of the tequilas that you're buying, 
because this looks like a silver, but it's actually a reposada that has a wonderful taste. So, last and not least, is everybody still awake? Because I get so excited on this. This is where I just talk and talk and talk and everybody listens. And thank you for indulging me. Finally, the, the best tequila that we have seen and that we've tried, and we've got it here in front of us in this cute little bottle that we love. And by the way, if you have this, you know that this little lid is also a bell. Kind of fun and decorative, right? So this is an Añejo tequila. So Añejo, what does that mean? It means old. This is an old tequila. An Añejo tequila has to be a minimum of one year but no greater than three years. So you can sign, kind of see the progression here, right? So we've got silver, we got to bottle it in two months. Añejo, it can sit in the cask for two months to less than one year, or excuse me, Reposado, sits in the cask for two months up to one year, then Añejo. And Añejo is one year to three years old. So what does that mean? It means that it's been given three years to soak up the taste of the cask where it has been able to mature. And as it soaks up the flavors of the cask, you get caramel, you get lemon, you get honey, you get all of these different flavors. And so one of the big differences, if you uh, like tequila and you're enjoying them with a silver tequila, we talked about this, you have to use like a lime and salt when you're drinking it straight to kind of uh, blend with the taste. When you have a reposado, you don't do that. You actually use an orange and cinnamon and sugar because an orange and cinnamon and sugar uh, are much more complementary to the taste of an anejo than they are to a silver. And when you actually have like a lime and salt with this, it doesn't quite fit because this is so much sweeter. So if you really wanna go elegant in your vanilla extract, choosing an older tequila may be the right choice for you. But remember, the older you go, the more expensive uh, yeah, they become, I, right? I don't know, that's, I mean, if you like tequila and you drink this, then try it out. But I wouldn't, I don't know if I'd buy this just for vanilla, it's pricey. It's pricey, yeah. and so, but it's kind of like the people that buy the really nice bourbons or the people yeah. that buy the really nice rums. Just there are many of you it. out there just to try it. The real trick with extract making is if you're familiar with the spirit and you like the spirit and you believe that that spirit will complement vanilla well, then try it. If you're just trying it for the very first time and you're not quite sure, we always recommend, you know, get, get a quality product, but you don't have to go top, top shelf. Yeah. So maybe with tequila, you start with a silver. Maybe you start somewhere in the middle with a reposado, uh, which means rested. Or maybe you go all the way to the Añejo if you know that you love it and that's what you want to experiment with. So those are the three kinds. Now, the Mexican government, since 2006, they've actually recognized a new kind of tequila, and it's extra Añejo. And this is now tequila that is beyond three years old. Uh, I don't have a sample here. They're hard to find in, in Utah, but we'll have to do some exploring to see what that is. But, you know, with these spirits, uh, the sky's the limit. And if there's a way to sort of market them differently, uh, people will try. And so storing it for 20 years like a bourbon, maybe it's going to make a better tequila. I've never tried one, so I don't know. Maybe it'll make a better extract. Who knows? But those are the questions you'll have to answer as you go to the liquor store and you decide which one you want to begin with. What's... I like what Tammy said. She said, all of this tequila trivia, I will sound so smart at Christmas. Thank you. <laughs> That's it. That's exactly it, Tammy. That is why we do what we do. We are not only showing you how to make amazing things with vanilla, but we are making you the smartest person in the room. <laughs> right? Sure. Sure. <laughs> You know who the smartest person in the room is right here. All right, here we go. All this tequila treated. So hopefully that was helpful. Have fun with it. Try some tequila extracts. Post what you learn. Uh, we want to know not just the successes. I think some of the most helpful posts that we get in our group are when people try something and they fail. So if something turns out really bad and you, you, know, you waited and you tried a certain kind of tequila or a certain kind of rum or bourbon or whatever, uh, like we had that old crow that we did, it just tanked. Right? Yeah, we awesome. we want to hear about it when it's bad as well as when it's good. So don't just feel like you got to post the good stuff. Because yeah, we do. all make you know mistakes, right, as we're making it. Go yes, ahead. Yes, we do. All right. Any other questions? Yes, thank you. I love it on the rocks. It's going to be really good in the vanilla. Which one is you talking about? More beans and tequila? Oh, everybody <laughs> wants a margarita now. No, you got to wait for it. It's Christmas time. <laughs> It's a margarita time. It's a time. Well, is there any time, I guess? Every time is margarita time. All right. 
Um, love learning new things. Finally started one eight ounce with Everclear. It is still water and it's working. That's great. Everclear is a great one to begin with. Search for Everclear on our website. You'll see some great tips on how to make it work. Um, eggnog, tequila, extract. Oh, that could be and would be really good, uh, Shayla. Um, very good.